Hi guys, it's me, Crow PA, here with another video. Today is a multi-character um, video. It includes Kenny, Kyle, Stan, and Craig. You know, the one that's like, I was so happy. If I could say she had Boston friends, I'd be so happy for that guy. Yeah, lovely. Anyways, now that we get that settled, Let's get on to the video. Craig Tucker. So you and Craig had a bit of a crush on each other. That's right. Super Craig is a bisexual. So you and Craig were like friends with benefits, you can say. You guys were okay with hugging and cuddling. And he left his jacket on his bed to go and shower. Listener, I'll be right back, okay? Wait for me to start the movie and I'll be back, okay? Yeah, okay. So you look at the 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 jacket jacket that's on his bed and you just start eyeing it because like you, you took the chance to just put it on, get under the covers, and wait for him to come back. And when he came back, he was trying to find his jacket to put it back on, but he wasn't able to. Um, huh. I could have sworn I put my jacket right here. Hm. What a shame. I was really looking forward to wearing it. Hmm, looks like the listener is already asleep. Hmm. Well, guess they can stay over. Huh, what do they have on? Oh. Well, I guess that that's also the mystery of the missing jacket. Yeah. Well, I'll just get them back, get it back tomorrow. We should probably head home. Or we could continue the sleepover. Yeah, we're gonna continue the sleepover. So he come to, he like cuddles next to you and we wait until the morning. Kyle Bravlosky. So you and same with the situation with Craig. You had a crush on him and he had a crush on you. Uh, yada yada, you know? So, you guys were play fighting. You took his hat, and you he was trying to get it back. <laughs> Listener, give me back my hat. I need to go. I need to go now. No, my mom won't let me stay over. Just give it back. He, t he tackled you to the ground, getting you pinned against the floor. Ha, I got it. Realizing that he's like on top of you, he gets all flustered. Uh, I am, I am sorry for tackling you. Uh, that was very wrong of me. I'm sorry. That's fine. But give me my hat back. Thank you. Well, I guess it won't hurt to stay over, but. If I get in trouble, it's your fault. Just ask, tell your parents to tell my mom I'm staying, staying over. Yeah, alright. So, once he got settled into your place, he left his jacket on your bed to go shower. Because, like, the man stank. <laughs> okay? Man stank. So, he goes to shower, and you found the perfect moment to just take his, his sweater, put it on, and you were like very confident and sassy around him, so you're like, haha, I got your sweater, and stuff like that, like you weren't like gonna hide it, mm. but like you went to the kitchen, so, to eat. Uh, 
Hey listener, I'm out of the shower. Um, by any chance have you seen my jacket? You know, that's that's a lovely jacket you got there, huh? Yeah, where'd you get it? Your bed? Hmm. How interesting. I could have sworn I left my jacket on my bed. I did, I did, huh? Well, can I have my jacket back? What do you mean, no? I'll get it tomorrow morning. Listener, get it back. Fine. I guess you can keep it. I have another one anyway. Okay. Well, we should probably head head to bed. I'll sleep in a sleeping bag or on the couch. You can take your bed. Alright. Yeah. Sounds good. Kenny McCormick. Today today was um, a normal day. Uh, The only difference was that Kenny was kind of in a rough spot. He got pushed into the mud um, and made his jacket all dusty and crushed a lot so you offered him to you know wash it for him and he could spend o- stay over so that you he could like so you could wash his clothes and he could shower there and of course his parents allowed him because like you guys are pretty rich family or your guy for you guys and so he goes and stays over Thank you for letting me stay over, listener. Here, here's my jacket. Okay, so... Yeah, there's dirt in my hair. Um, well... I did fall in mud, so... Of course, my my entire body's covered in dirt. What what are we gonna do? Wash them for me. No, that's, that's too much. You're already washing my jacket. Fine, fine. But what am I what am I gonna wear for clothes? Your brothers. Okay. Yeah, that that will work. So he goes shower, you hand him his clothes his your brother's clothes, and once his before he got out of the shower, his jacket finished washing. And you decide, I'ma wear it. I'ma wear it. And you you liked his jacket, and you fell asleep in it. <laughs> you fell asleep in it, and when he came back, he just saw you there. Uh, listener, I'm back. I huh. Well, I'll ask. I'll ask them back for tomorrow. I'm tired. Where is? And since her that jacket is done, I suppose that my clothes are done. I'll just let them right here for tomorrow. So he sets everything down and he sleeps next to you because you guys are very close friends. Stan Marsh. You and Stan weren't dating. You guys were just friends with benefits. So it all starts off him getting ready for baseball practice and he left his jacket over and you went to go visit him but you didn't know there was a game today and you kind of were wondering if you wanted to have a sleepover if he could have a sleepover with you when you knocked on the door his mom answered oh listener what are you doing here well Stan isn't here right now. He's at a baseball game. You remember. It's baseball season, so he's going to be at a game right now. Uh, I can give you the location where he's playing if you want to go. Uh, you were doing a sequel today, right? Uh, well, why don't you come inside? Uh, yeah. You can leave your stuff, and you can go to the game. Mm-hmm.
Yes, very much. All right. So you head inside, and you see that he left his hat and jacket on his bed. So you decided to wear them. And the the mom already knows like you have you guys have a crush on each other. She just never said anything. So of course you wearing his stuff isn't gonna affect her in any way. Oh, you're you're back. Um well we should get going, no? Yeah, I'll I'll drive you there, don't worry. It's pretty far where they're playing. Yeah. Yeah, no. So you arrive at where he's playing. And when he sees you, he turns into this blushy mess. Uh, listener? Uh, listener? Uh, I, I need to make sure I'm saying this right. Is that listener? Or the hoodie stealer? Because... Or this look, the jacket snatcher or something. Because you're wearing my entire... <laughs> well, uh, I... I gotta go. I, I gotta go. I gotta... <laughs> like, he was on the verge of throwing up because of how cute it was. And Cartman and Kenny were at the side of him and were like, Come on, dude. Let's go. Come on, dude. Let's go. F. Don't understand. And yeah. After the game, he comes back to you and he like is happy. He's psyched that you wore his stuff at his game. So he tried his best to win it so he could impress you. Although, like, he didn't like baseball, he would try to press you anyways. And uh, it was a success because he did end up winning and you were cheering him on and stuff. And then at the end of the day, you guys ended up having a sleepover. And he fell asleep on the couch watching a movie with him. And his mom came in. Put a blanket over you guys when you guys fell asleep and left. And that was the end of uh, the hoodie situation or jacket situation, if you want to be more specific. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I enjoyed making this so much. Although, I was kind of tired in some of them. I hope you guys enjoyed. This took two days to make. Love you all. Bye.